Save up to 22% on your gas consumption. No tools are required to assemble it. Even if you're not handy, you should DB be able to put it together. Your house will warm up much faster because warm air is dispersed more quickly. This is unbelievable, guys. We're going to test it because we claim that using this could reduce your energy consumption by 22%. We're going to do this, Abdul. Let's get started. I don't have to tell you that gas prices and energy prices are going through the roof. This is just crazy. Some people even have to pay double what they usually pay. This is no joke. So it's really time to think about your energy consumption. Useful gadgets, simple solutions to help reduce your energy usage. Speed Comfort really has the answer for you. I've tested these devices and honestly, I'm really impressed by what they can do. The best part is you can easily set up this fan yourself. You can just do it yourself. You don't need any tools and it really is simple. Anyone can install this because they've really thought a system through very well. We're going to unpack them and install them right away. To point out how very easy this is, pay attention to this. Left hand blindfolded, one, two, three. Isn't this amazing, guys? Finished. Now all I have to do is plug it in and it'll work. You need to pay attention. These fans are available in three sets. The mono set comes with one fan, which is for radiators up to 50 centimeters. The duo set is for radiators 75 to 120, and the trio set is for radiators starting from 1 meter 20. So if you have a very long radiator, you can connect 20 of them together. So it always works out with this. I look like Eminem. Yo, yo, yo. These fans are really super useful and Speed Convo has really thought about them because they have used magnets here, there and everywhere and you just attach them to it and they are also adjustable in width so it always works out with this. Suppose you have a very narrow radiator, no problem, it even fits on that. All you have to do is remove this lip, take this magnet and flip it and you can do the exact same thing. Flip it and it will fit on a very narrow one. Very convenient and no tools needed. Guys, I keep repeating this. I think it's awesome that you can assemble this without tools and even if you are all thumbs. But before you order these fans, you of course need to know how many fans you need and that depends on the room where you'll use them. One such fan moves 30 cubes per hour. This space is 6 meters long, 5 meters wide and 3 meters 20 high which totals one, two, three, 96 cubes. So I need three of these fans. Please note that you can't use these fans on very old radiators, also known as see-through radiators or column radiators. You really have to look for another solution for this and for example, arrange it on the water side. If you have a compact radiator, no problem. You can easily convert these fans with the supplied legs. In the description, you'll find more information about speed comfort. And I've also left a link where you can order it. The plate of these fans is not a heavy piece of engineering. It's really super simple and connecting is also very easy. A 30 centimeter cable is supplied as standard, but you can also order larger, longer cables. Let's see, you click it here, just watch it with my eyes closed. This is a temperature switch that you connect to the fans. It only starts your fans when your radiator temperature is above 33 degrees. And that's quite smart so that the fans don't always have to be left on and you should place it as close as possible to the start of your radiator or near your tap because that is your supply. And it's very easy. They've applied magnets here and let's see how simple it is. Oh, wait a minute. I have to do it with my left hand. Look. <laughs> it's that simple. Then I close the temperature switch on the fan and all I have to do now is connect the adapter. And this adapter is lossless, which means that it does not consume power when the fans are not on. Super handy. One such fan only uses 16 cents per year and your room is heated up in half the time. This means you use less gas and therefore less CO emissions. Have a look. This is the adapter. Click. If you remove the temperature sensor, the fans will turn on immediately. If you plug them in, they turn off. This way you know that your sensor is working properly. The only thing I need to check now is that I have mounted my fans the right way. So they blow the air upwards. It's actually very simple. Just my hand. Yes, that's very good. And do you know what's great about these things? They make almost no sound. You really don't hear them. Maybe take a closer look. Listen well. This is so little. This is really negligible. You don't hear this. Perfect. Sensor on it. These fans are on. 
The only thing I have to do now to lower my temperature or actually my energy consumption is to lower the temperature of my central heating water. In a standard installation this is often set between 70 and 90 and I'm now going to lower my radiator temperature to 60. And then I'll see how it feels. And if I can make it with this then it's perfect. If it's just too tight I'll raise my temperature. For example to 65 or 70. And then we'll see what will happen. Then we will turn up the thermostat to test. And now I'll just set it to 23 degrees. I just want it to turn on. Now I wait until my radiator is warm enough and then the fans should come on. So you have to test that to see if it works well. The fans should come on at approximately 33 degrees. So we're going to test it. Have a look. I can't hear if those fans are on. So then let's check. The fans just turned on. And I measured 33 degrees there. So that's perfect, man. So man, yes, unbelievable. Do you hear something? Are they on? No? These things are really quiet. You hardly hear them. They are really, really quiet. So it's really negligible. Unbelievable too, isn't it?